Hello, welcome to a new lesson from Glenridge Taekwondo. A couple of things to start out. Tomorrow, Friday, we're going to have a Q&A session. Send us your questions. You can either put them in the comments for this video or email them to us at info at glenridgetkd.com. Another thing is we've gotten some photos, we've gotten some video from people. We would love to see more. Please share with us. We love to share it on our social media. So get those pictures to us by emailing them. You can post them on social media. Some of the videos I'm not entirely sure how to download, but you can always, like I said, email them to us. Or if you have a bigger file that you want to send over, let me know. I can send you a link to a place where you can put them and we can pick them up from there, like Google Drive. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when we have a new video. First, get your feet together. Jaya, Hyuna, Daekwon. Good to see you. Let's get started. So we're gonna start with a warm up as always. Reaching up, stretching up, up, up. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. And reaching out, stretch out. One, two, three, four, five. And relax, shake it out. And up. One, two, three. Reach those fingertips up, up. Touch the ceiling and relax. And out to the side again, reaching. See how my fingers are spread out wide? I'm trying to get my fingertips to reach to the wall. Three, four, five, and relax. Now, taking your hand over your head, reaching. You can put your hand on your hip if you like. One, two, three, four, five. And the other side. Hana, do, set, net, dasu. Back to the first side. Hana. Do, set, net, dasu. Reach a little more. See how I bent my body some more? Reaching and switch. Hana, do, set, net. Reach a little more. Hana, do, set, net. And back to center. Shake your arms out. Neck rotations. Now, going in one direction. One two, three, four, and the other way, Hana, do, set, net, and ear to the shoulder, don't pick that shoulder up, let that shoulder relax, tipping your head to one side, now go the other ear to the other shoulder, but don't pick the shoulder up, just move the head. And now chin to your chest. And now look up, up, up as high as you can. And forward. Now, swinging your arm in circles, make sure you have space behind you. Make sure you're not anywhere near hitting somebody else in your family. And swinging forward. Hana, do, set, net, dasu. The other way. Hana, do, set, net, dasu. Swinging your arms, palms are down. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ildo, ildo, ah, yang. Now palms are up. Hana, do, set, net. Dasu, Yasu, Ildo, Ido, All, Yang. When you do these and your arms are open, you want to let your arms swing back so you feel the stretch here. Now you notice when your arms come forward, because your elbows bend, they cross a lot. When your arms are straight, the arms don't bend that way. You won't get as much cross. That's okay. Your body's supposed to work that way. So getting your feet a little bit apart, leaning forward, stretching your hamstrings, just going down. You feel it in the backs of your legs. Make sure your legs are loose. And over to the left. Hana, do, set, net, dasu. And switch. Hana, do, set, net, dasu. And down to the middle. Hana, do, set, net, dasu. And up. And long walking stance. Turning this way. 
So you want to feel the stretch here, stretching. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ilo, ido, all, ya. Turn the other way. Now make sure your feet are not in the same in one line. Master Mini talks about moving both feet when you turn sides. This is because your body is going to be full facing this way. You want to have room to get that stretch again. Front of your hip, you want to feel the stretch. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ilda, ido, all, yal, and up. From here, we're going to do some squats. We're going to come down and back up. So, like we've been doing, put your hands together, put your palms together, and down, and up, down, and up. When you go down, breathe in through your nose. Then when we come up, out through your mouth. In and out. When you do this, breathe down into your belly. Push your belly against your belt. If you're not wearing your belt against your pants, you should feel your belly stick out like you've had a big drink of water. So, breathing in and out. Two, three, net, and up, dasu, ilda. Iru. Oh. Yeah. Down and hold it. Hana, do, set, net, dasut, yasut, and up. And exhale, shake it out. All right, doing great. Now, we're gonna do some more stretching on the floor, sitting down. I'm gonna start with your quad. That's the muscle on the front of your leg at the top, to front of the thigh. Pull your heel toward your rear end, lean back. If you're very flexible, you may lie all the way back down on the floor, and that works too. So, getting a stretch here. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ildo, ildo, al, yal, and switch your legs. Same thing, pulling your heel to the back of your leg, stretching, feel it up here. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ilga, yero, all, yo. And relax. Now, taking the first leg, hugging your leg to your chest. What you want to do is bring your knee toward this shoulder. Why are we doing this? To stretch back here. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ilgo, yero, all, yao. And now relax, push down on this knee. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ilgo, yero, all, yao. And switch your legs. Crossing the leg over, hugging your knee to your chest. Hana, do, Set, net, dasu, yasu, ildo, ero, all, yao. Relax the leg down, pushing down on the knee. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ildo, ero, all, yao. And bring the bottoms of your feet together, pressing down. Hana, do, set, net, Dasu, yasu, ilgo, ero, all, yao, and up on your feet. Now going into some taekwondo, we're going to do walking stance. So go ahead, make your best walking stance. Look at my feet. You can see my feet are not one in front of the other. They are as wide as I am. There's as much, they're about as wide as my shoulders are. So 
If you need to double, double check, stop, look, we're gonna leave our feet in this position. Back leg is straight, make sure that back leg is straight. That's very important. And my heel is on the floor. This leg is bent. Now, we're gonna start with low block. Low block crosses. This hand is on the inside and block. Don't move your feet. We're just gonna do the arms with my count. Hana, do, set. And switch your feet. The easiest way to switch your feet, step up and step back. Again, check your stance. Is this leg completely straight? Is the heel on the floor? Front leg is bent. And there's a space between my feet. My feet are not in one line. Ready, crossing and blocking. Remember, blocking hand is going to be on the inside. Hana, do, set, net, das. Yasu, ilgo, idol, all, y'all. Switch your feet. Check your stance. Good. Now, blocking and add a punch. So, blocking, punching. Ready. Hana, do, set, ne. Dasu, Yasu, Ilgo, Idol, All, Y'all. Now, did you notice my back leg started to move? If I don't move my body at all, just like I did in the first few, I was warming up. If I don't move my body at all, then I'm not generating power. A punch without power is just sticking your hand out there. So, Switching sides, check your stance, lock that back leg, heels on the floor. We're doing again, low block and a punch, and crossing and blocking, then punching. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ilgo, idol, all. Y'all, switch your feet. Now it's high block. High block is over your head. When I'm looking straight at you, I can just barely see my hand. My hand is protecting my head. Very important. Check your stance. Back leg is straight. Front leg is bent. Ready to go. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ilgo. Idu, all, y'all, switch your feet. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ilgo, idu, all, y'all. Switch again, high block, then reverse punch. Ready, Hana. Shake it out. Okay, good. That's your high block. That's your low block. Middle block in the juniors and adults, we usually do it in L stance. We're going to do it in a walking stance because stationary L stance is a very different thing. So back to our walking stance. We're going to block middle block. Now, remember, middle block, where does it come from? Watch what I'm doing underneath. The other times you're blocking hands on the inside. This time, it's coming from under. Ready, 
एंड है ना टू सेट नेट टास यास इल्ग इरो आम याओ स्विच ऑफ ही एंड है ना टू सेट नेट टास यास इल्ग इरो आम याओ स्विच अगेन Oh, did you check your stance? So, remember, back leg is straight, heel is on the floor, front leg, the knee is bent. Now, when you do a middle block, walk is in the middle of your body. If it's over here, I'm gonna get hit. As long as I stop here, I'm covered, I'm protected. So, middle block, stopping in the middle of your body, and then punch. Hana, do, set. Net, set, dance, ilgo, iru, ah, yo, switch your feet, hana, two, set, net, dance, dance. Ilgo, iru, ah, yah. Now step forward, paro. Your punch. Where is your punch? It's in the middle of your body. How high is it? Well, if it's above the shoulder, it's going to the face. That's a high punch. If we say nothing, it's a middle punch. Middle punch is below your shoulder. So we're going to practice that sitting stance punch. Feet are apart. This is wider than your walking stance. Knees are bent. All your toes are pointing forward. You're going to start out with your left hand already out there. You switch when you punch. Look what I'm doing. I come up and I come down. So ready to punch with me. Hana, do, set, net, das, yasu, ilgo. Iru, ah, ya, hana, tu, se, ne, dance, dance, ilgo, iru, ah, ya, yo yena, yo du, yo se, yo ne, yo dance, yo dance, yo ilgo, yo iru, yo ah, small. Oh yeah, that's how you count to twenty. Hello. All right, now doing some kicks. Let's left leg forward fighting stance. Jump, front kick with the back leg. We're gonna kick, put the foot down, and then step back. If you kick and go back, you don't generate the same power. Your power, your body weight is back, your leg comes out, but it's not as good a kick. So we're gonna kick, put the foot down, and then come back. Same would be true if you were kicking against. Um, a board. If you're kicking a board in a test, or somebody has a shield, or any kind of a kicking pad. So, front kick with my count. Hana, and step back. Do. Set. Net. Das. Das. Ilgo, iru, ah, yo. Now I think some of our younger friends were kicking and coming back because you know you can do it faster that way. Yes, it's faster, but I want you to have a great kick. I know you have a great kick in there. So now we're going to switch sides. The kick that you didn't do before. You're gonna have the other foot in the. You're gonna have that foot in the back. So now I'm kicking with my left. Ready? Hana. And step back. Do. And back. Set. Net. Dance. Dance. 
Pedro. Peru. Wow. Yeah. And switch your feet. So, I know some of my younger students, they just want to kick hard and fast. So let's do that. We're going to go moving forward. Now, I don't have a lot of space. I have one, two, I start to do more than that and I run out of space. I'm going to assume you have only room for two steps forward as well. If you want to do more, just make sure as always, don't run into the furniture, don't run into your family, respect personal space for others. So left leg forward fighting stance, jump, stepping forward with a front kick, Hana. do, fighting stance turn, Hana. do, Fighting stance turn. Hana. Do. And turn. Hana. Do. Turn. Now switch your sides. We did the other side, but when you're turning this way, it does affect your balance. So we're now going to do the other side. So now I've got my right leg in front. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. Hana. Do and turn. Hana. Do. Turn. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. So you might see some of the tricks that I'm doing. So I don't use up too much space. I'm adjusting my footwork. I don't want to hit the glass. That's pretty important. I don't want to be. Oh, whoa, whoa, that, that's a little too close. I like you guys, but. I shouldn't be that close to you. We're respecting personal boundaries and in this social distancing right now, we wanna make sure we have enough room to work. So you can watch my footwork on the floor and adjust if you need to. If you have enough space to go ahead and kick full strength, take a big step, that's awesome. That's fantastic. So we just did front kick. Now, front kick and a punch, same side. Hands are up, fighting stance, left leg forward, fighting stance. Hana, kicking, punching. Do and turn. Hana. Do. Turn. Hana. Do. Turn. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. Now switch sides. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. Hana, do, turn, Hana, do, and turn, Hana, do, fighting stance turn. Step forward, pro. Now on to turning kicks. So, left leg forward, fighting stance, jump. We're going to do two kicks going forward. Make sure you have enough space, and Hana. Do fighting stance turn. Hana. Do turn. Hana. Do turn. Hana. Do fighting stance turn. Switch your sides and turning kick again. Hana. Do. And turn. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. Hana. Do. Turn. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. Switch your feet. Fighting stance. So now stepping behind the front leg, side kick. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. Hana, do, and turn. Hana, do, turn. Hana, do, turn. Hana, do, turn. Hana, do, fighting stance turn. 
Side kick with the rear leg. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. Hana. Do. 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 Fighting stance turn. Step forward, paro. So, sometimes in class, the instructors have you put your hand on the wall and do side kicks. We're going to do that, but differently. So, I'm going to use the table here, the desk here. We're going to do them regular speed. So, make sure your toes are facing the wall. What can you touch? What can you hold on to? You can hold on to a table. You can hold on to the furniture gently. Make sure it's something sturdy. Make sure you're not knocking anything over. You can use a wall. So, whatever, whether you're using a table, a sofa, the wall, we're going to put one hand, turn your toes so that they're pointing toward where your hand is holding on. You're going to kick, you're going to pick it up and kick. Oh, don't stand so close that you can't tip your body. Hold on, toes pointing toward the wall, leg comes out and kick and then down. The table is really just so you hold balance. If your balance is good and you're comfortable, do a fighting stance and kick. All right. So with my count, Hana, do, set, net, das, yes, ilgo, ilgo, all, y'all. Now switch your sides. I'm going to use on this side, just so I'm facing you. If it's easier for you to turn your back to the screen and kick that way, that's okay. You just kick when you hear me call the kick. All right, ready. Remember, toes are pointing toward what you're holding on to. Other hand is up. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Das. Yes. Ilgo. Ilgo. All. Yon. And relax. So, where should you look when you're kicking? Always look where the foot's going. So, imagine your target's this big. If you take your eye off it, you might miss. If that target is a person coming at you, they might move. They might hit you first. Keep an eye on them. You're more covered. So, another 10. Hold on. Or fighting stance. It's up to you. Hana, do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ilgo, ilgo, all, y'all. So when you're kicking, remember, breathe on each kick. When do you breathe? When your foot lands, you may be able to hear me. I'm not sure how sensitive the microphone is. You may be able to hear me with a kick. Between kicks, I'm pulling in air. Remember when we did the breathing earlier and I said, fill your belly, push it against your belt. You want to feel your belt tighten. That's one place you can put air. Your body can actually hold air in your ribs too. So I can hold more air if I lift my ribs and give more air so I can talk and I can kick, and I can spend time with you. All right, so again, the other side, toes are pointing the direction away from where you kick. Kick's gonna go that way. Ready, Hana. do, set, net, dasu, yasu, ilgo, ilgo, all, yon. And back to the first side. So we did holding on. If you felt comfortable, we did not holding on. We're going to add to that. 
I want you to try to slide that foot forward. Now, be very aware of what's over here, please. Don't hit anyone or anything. These are very powerful tools, use them responsibly. So I'm gonna kind of make it close up over here because when I kick, I'm gonna move my foot, my body forward, like so. Ready, with my count, we are going to adjust back. Hana, do, set, net, adjust back, dasu, yasu, ilgo, iru, adjust, oh, yo. Now please, if somebody or something is there, don't wait for me to say to adjust. Just don't hit things. All right, fighting stance. Toes are pointing that way. Kicking is going that way. Sliding, sliding that foot on the floor. If it doesn't slide, that's okay. But this is what we're aiming for. When you have tons of space, the more you can slide, the stronger your kick. So that adds one of many things that can add to make your kick more powerful. Ready? Fighting stance, kick is going that way. Hana, do, set, net. Adjust your stance, adjust your distance. Hana, do, set, net. And adjust. Hana, do, and relax. So, when you're working on your own, another thing you can do is have something in the way. Kick over it. I know Red Belt Black Belt class, they've done this. They get a whole bunch of chairs. Juniors camp, they get a bunch of chairs. And they stand and they kick over the obstacle. Now, if I get too close, I don't want to hit anything. Be careful, as always. But use a chair. Turn it with the seat toward you first. It's a lower obstacle. If you're flexible, if you're tall, if you're comfortable, turn it around to the back of the chair so you have to really pick your foot up to kick. All right, so now let's do some kicking kicks. All the way back, left leg forward fighting stance, chip, skipping front kick. Ta -da! And turn. Do. Turn. Set. Turn. Net. Turn, that's it. Turn, yes it. Turn, it'll go. And the left leg forward fighting stance. Chup. Now, skipping front kick. We're gonna do kick and turn. Ha! -na. Kick, turn, do, turn, set, turn, net, turn, that's it. Turn, yasu. Turn, ilgo. Turn, ido. Turn, oh. Turn, yo. Turn. Now, skipping front kick. Now, skipping front kick followed by a reverse punch. Hana. Turn, do. Turn, hana. Turn, do. Turn, hana. Turn, do. Turn, hana. Turn, do. Turn. We're gonna do a punch charging forward. This is something juniors and adults have done. Lines, this may be new to you. It may be new to some of the juniors. So you're gonna step forward and punch, simple as that. But you notice I'm still in my fighting stance. I'm not going into a specified walking stance or L stance. This is something much more like what you might use in sparring. So, fighting stance, front hand's gonna punch with my count, hana, do, side, fighting stance turn, hana, do, side, turn, hana, do, side, turn, Hana, do, set, turn. Hana, do, set, turn. Hana, do, set, turn. Hana, do, set, 
Turn. Hana. Do. Side. Fighting stance. Turn. Now, I'm going to guess when you all did this that you did this foot first. You moved. You went like this. Watch my feet. You went like that. Now, that's the natural way that people move. However, this time we're going to do it in two steps. You're going to take your back foot, put it to your front foot. Then your front foot goes out. What this looks like in sparring is magically somehow you got this much closer to them. That's close enough to hit them. This is really useful. So we're going to step up. Why don't you do it with me? This may be new for you. So bring your back foot to your front foot, then step out and punch at the same time. See, these two land at the same time. Ready, step up and punch. And again, I'm going to go back to my regular position. I have a little more room this way. Step up and punch. Step up and punch. Step up and punch. Fighting stance turn. Now the other side, same thing. Back foot comes to the front foot. Don't make it go in front, then you get, it gets complicated. We don't need complicated. So take your back foot, put it to your front foot, step out and punch. Step up, step out and punch. One more, step up. Step out and punch. I ran out of room. Fighting stance turn. Now, we're going to do it with my count. Fighting stance turn. Now, we're going to do it with my count. Stepping up and punching. Hana. Do. Set. Turn. Hana. Do. Set. Fighting stance turn. I'm going to go sideways so you can really see how the quick change of the feet does make a difference. Hana, do, set, turn. Hana, do, set, turn. Hana, do, turn. Hana, do, turn. Hana, do. I'm going to turn sideways so you have a better view of what I'm doing. I want you to see, we're going to do two now, and I want you to see how much ground and how quickly I can cover it. Fighting stance. Hana. Do. Turn. Hana. Do. Turn. Hana. Do. Turn. Hana. Do. Turn. Hana. Do. Turn, hana, do, turn, hana, do, turn, hana, do, and pearl. All right, let's do L stance techniques. So, left leg forward fighting stance, jump. Stepping forward, L stance punch, punching in your L stance. Ready, hana, do. Turn, hana, do, 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 turn. Now, L stance, middle block, hana. Do, turn, hana, do, turn. Remember what I said when we did this in a walking stance? Middle block comes from underneath. Hana, do, turn, hana, do, turn, hana, do, turn, hana, do. Turn. Stepping forward. Knife hand strike in an L stance. Hana. Do. And turn. Hana. Do. Turn. Hana. Do. Turn. Hana. Do. Fighting stance turn. And step forward. Paro. All right. You guys have done great today. We're going to have more tomorrow. I'm going to start with a cool down. So take a deep breath in and 
and out. And in. And out. And in. And out. And in, arms up. Palms toward each other and pushing it out. So when you do this part, I want you to tighten up your belly. I want you to tighten up your ribs. And I want you to squeeze as much air out of your lungs as you can. We're going to take a breath in in just a second right after that. So you can squeeze it all out. It's okay. So deep breath in. Fill your belly. Fill your ribs. Fill under your shoulders. Palms together. Squeeze all that air out. And up, through the nose, out, through your mouth. And again, up, hold it, and up. So we're doing breathing exercises at the beginning and ending of training. At the beginning, it helps you to warm up. At the end, it helps you to calm down, cool down, return your breathing to normal, and help you get ready to go back to the regular life that you're living. Thank you for joining us. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Send us your questions for tomorrow. We'd love to see it. Send us your photos or your video. We can be reached again, info at glenridgetkd.com. I'll put it down in the description and let us know what you'd like to see more of. Let us know what you like doing. Maybe your house has more space than we're assuming. Maybe you have less. All this stuff is helpful to us to know. We look forward to, to seeing you again. Be together. Thank you.